Hi guys. Okay, we are back out at the range today with my 50 caliber mountain rifle. And today we're going to check some corrections. Now, the front sight was bent. And it was actually a little bit loose in its holder, so I tapped it back down straight and I straightened out the front sight. Remember in my last one, I was hitting to the right. So now that I've made a sight correction and I've straightened it out, I'm using the exact same load, 50 grains. And I'm going to go back and shoot. I'm not going to work on elevation yet until I have established left to right. So get my windage side to side correct, and then I will move the sight to bring it up on the target. Okay? So let me load up right quick, and we'll fire five shots down range to quickly find out it, where we're hitting. Be right back. Okay, that's three. Okay, that's three shots. Let's go see where she's hitting. Okay, we are hitting low and right, but it's not a bad group. So I need to definitely bring my group now to the left. So I will go adjust the sights, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Okay. You have a teeny tiny rear screw back here for elevation, and then you have a screw right here you can loosen and drift this dovetail over. I have opened it up, tapped my front sight to the left, because I want to move the rear sight in the direction you want the group to go. Okay? And I have tightened it back down. Now since I'm way off on elevation, I'm going to put and bring this up pretty significantly, like three turns. And that small, how about there? That small little screwdriver blade on the Swiss Arm knife does fit this. Now that's brought it a little left and up. Now let's shoot three more and let's see where they go. Okay, we've shot three additional shots after moving the sights. When you're sighting in a gun, you want to take it very, very slowly. Now you have first found a group. Don't be moving the sights all over the place if you haven't found the group. So we've established that 50 grain shoots a relatively small, no, not perfect, but small group. So that's what I'm doing. Change only one thing at a time. So I went and got a load, which I'd shot before and proved that 50 grains put it in a fairly group, small area. Now I'm moving that group. So I loosened it up and I moved it over and I moved it up a little bit. Now I fired three additional shots. We're going to see where those three shots went. Let's take a look. Okay. These three down here were my original group. These two and that one are my current one. I'll tell you right there, that's the one I fudged. I had a bad cap, and I went three times before it went, and I'm betting that was it. But these two touching. I am now at proper elevation, but I still need to come over. Okay, so I'm at proper elevation now. I now still need to go left. Now, looking down the barrel, I can clearly see that the front side is offset to the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to drift that side. And I ain't got that tool with me right now. But I need to go and mark and drift the front side back over to the right. Now, you move the rear sight in the direction you want the group to go. You move the front sight in the opposite direction you want the group to go. See? So if I'm shooting left and I'm moving the front sight, 
I move it to the right. See, I want to move it opposite. So that's what it is, these two are this way. This is perfect alignment right here. If the front sight's off that way, well then I'm shooting off to the left to do it. But what's happening is I'm like that and the front sight's this way. So for me to line it up, I'm actually going left. So that front sight has to come over to line it up. See, so we know that. So I've got elevation right. And so that's where we're at right now. We're going to take it home and we're going to drift that front sight to center and then go. We've got elevation, we've got a group. Now we just got to drift that side in. And that will be in the next one when we come back out here. It's a step by step process with these fixed sights. But once you get it sighted in, it stays there. Plus, that front sight's way tall, and I know it. See how much I cranked up on that rear sight? Now, once I get it where it's hitting dead on, and all of that's good, then I'm going to start removing a little bit of front sight so that I can drop my rear sight down. Now, remember in percussion revolvers, they shoot high because the front sight's not tall enough. That was intentional, but the rifles, whenever they sold them back in the day, and this one's never been adjusted, even though Dan had it, and Dan was good, but Dan was holding off. Instead of just sighting it in exact, he knew where to aim. Okay. I'm going to file down that front sight. As I do, that's going to make it hit higher, and then I can bring my rear sight down. Ideally, I want my rear sight all the way at the bottom, and it dead on at 25 yards, which is what I'm at. I want it dead on, so that when I move out to 50, I only got to come up a grunt. And that's where I'm going to sight it in at, at 50, because the difference is going to be that much. And that's still a minute of deer. So that's the idea. Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. There'll be more coming in the muzzleloading rifle. I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have, please hit that like button before you go. Till next time, guys, I'm Blackie, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.